Eye-rolling Judge Engeron calls Trump to testify, finds him Donald Trump left a Manhattan courtroom abruptly Wednesday after a heated day in court that saw the former president called to the witness stand in his $250 million fraud case. The judge also fined $10,000 for violating a gag order. Time equals 400 ms. greater than Judge Engeron is the Manhattan judge overseeing the $250 million fraud case brought by Attorney General Letitia James, who ran on the Get Trump ticket. The judge is monitoring Donald Trump's every word since he tweeted a mean joke suggesting the judge's law clerk was Chuck Schumer's girlfriend. She is Schumer's friend. Time equals 400 ms. greater than Judge Arthur Ngoran called Donald Trump to testify after Michael Cohen finished his two days of dishonest, contentious testimony. The judge questioned Mr. Trump about his comment that the person sitting next to the judge was very partisan. She is partisan. In any case, Trump said he was referring to Michael Cohen, who was sitting on the other side of her. The judge questioned Donald Trump as to whether he called his law clerk partisan, and he said, maybe, he had referred to her as unfair because she's very biased. Meanwhile, the law clerk and the judge were rolling their eyes and whispering from the bench during the cross-examination of Michael Cohen. She's ill-behaved, and so is the judge, defense attorney Alina Habba told Supreme Court Justice Arthur Engeron at the start of Wednesday's trial, noting that she was once a law clerk herself, that she found it incredibly distracting when there were eye rolls and whispering during her cross-examination. Raw Story said, MSNBC's Lisa Rubin said the eye rolling came from the judge and his law clerk. Engeron said he found Trump's testimony not credible, and fined him $10,000 for violating the gag order he issued earlier this month over the partisan law clerk. Last week, he fined him $5,000 for the joke. The judge is proving Donald Trump's point about the bias. Donald Trump left the court abruptly. According to NBC News, he stormed out and there were gasps in the court. If that causes them to gasp, they don't get around much, under questioning from the AG's office. Cohen testified later that Trump didn't specifically tell him to inflate the numbers and said he was like a mob boss who tells you what he wants without directly telling you, so, it's a thought crime, when Cohen wrapped up his two days on the witness stand, a Trump attorney again asked the judge for a directed verdict, a request he said was absolutely denied. Donald Trump can't get a fair trial with this judge. No matter how much exculpatory evidence the judge sees, his mind is made up.